and state media concepts social media podcast time to hashtag everything we talk about all the fun crazy stories on social media from instagram to facebook twitter to tumblr or probably even friendster join us each week as we explore the quirky side of social media it's the golden state media concept social media podcast it's simple it's simple such a sad song the one that the one that we rely on to get us to get us Hello and welcome to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Sarah, and I just realized that as I was doing the intro, I almost said, welcome to the GSMC Social Media Weird News Podcast, which would be a mashup of two of the podcasts that I host. And often those two podcasts have overlapping stories, so it's not surprising that I wanted to say Social Media Weird News Podcast. Anyway, that is not this episode. Although this episode, I hope it will be a little lighter than last episode. I got a little cranky in the last episode and I, I didn't start out to have a cranky episode or a or a, a, a depressing episode or an episode that makes you leave going, oh dang, that was whew, not exactly what I was expecting. So we got a little light, more lighthearted episode this time. And since today is October 3rd, I have to start with the um, the meme that pops up every October 3rd, which is the Mean Girls meme, where, you know, I've only seen the movie once, and that was a million years ago, I vaguely remember it, but every October 3rd, somebody posts the meme of, you know, there's the scene in the movie where... Um, on October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. October 3rd! Uh, Lindsay Lohan is the star of that movie, and um, the, the, the boy she likes apparently asked her what day it is. I Again, I vaguely remember that movie. Um, and so then I saw another meme uh, that says... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, th- the clock strikes midnight on October 3rd. Every white girl in the world simultaneously grabs their phone and tweets, It's October 3rd. Happy Mean Girls Day. The world is safe for another year. The prophecy has been fulfilled. In the distance, sirens. Um, yeah, so there are days. You know, it's the same on, what is it, April? I don't think it's April 20th, but it's whatever date it is in Miss Congeniality when um, William Shatner's character asks the one contestant what's, what's her idea of the perfect date and she says whatever date it is, it is and says because you know it's it's not co- too cold it's not too hot you just need a light jacket and on that day you know, I have a million people on my social media timelines posting that gif or that image or that meme what have you so Happy Mean Girls Day, I guess. Um, if you celebrate, Happy Mean Girls Day, if you celebrate it. Maybe you are watching the movie as we speak. I don't know. At any rate, let's move on to some of the topics that are trending on social media today. The first just makes me smile. It's The Rock. He seems like a really good guy. Maybe maybe he's a total jerk in real life, but he seems like a really good guy. I hope he is. But he... um he was trending on social media today because he sang happy birthday to one of his fans who happens to be a hundred years old and she um yeah so he sang happy birthday to her and she has the cutest reactions she (laughs) watches him and she she just got the biggest smile on her face she is clearly enjoying it her name is marie grover and she just turned 100 um he he sings happy birthday uh, and as i said while well, she watches the clip was posted on twitter yesterday wednesday by jamie klingler who is a friend of grover's granddaughter and she writes happy 100th birthday to grandmom grover i cannot begin to thank at the rock enough for making this happen um 
The Rock says in the video, Happy birthday, Marie. I hear you're a very big fan of mine, which I'm so honored by the way that you're a fan. And I know, I believe you're in Philadelphia. I love Philadelphia. And this is what he said after you finished the song. He said, I'm sending you so much love and a huge congratulations on 100 years. What an amazing life. I, and I'm sure everyone around you right now, I'm very happy you were born, he said. He added, now you can eat cake, you can get drunk, you can have the best time. Party hard. And she makes the cutest little the kid's little face and reaction when he says that and then she that she that she talks back to him as though he can actually hear her although we all do that right we all talk to the screen and she says love you right back you rock you which just made me so happy um the rock retweeted jamie klingler's tweet said love seeing this happy 100th grandma grover i'm honored you're a fan and grateful you were born much love rock and then in parentheses wish my grandma was still around but stuff like this is always the best fart oh my gosh best part of fame wow um it's very very sweet so this is, you know, just an example of the power of social media. And um, Jamie Klingler posted a tweet or tweet tweeted a tweet on September 22nd. Oh, my God. My punch to get at the rock to wish my best friend's Graham a happy 100th birthday as she adores him might work. A friend of a friend is in touch. She will lose her mind. When we were in high school 25 years ago, she would wear a rock sweatshirt and tell us how handsome he is. Ooh, back when he was probably a wrestler and he was the people's eyebrow. Um, that is is so very sweet the actor saw the message and replied saying he was game to lend a hand um what first i'm hearing of this who's turning 100 beautiful age what do you need jamie is what he wrote what a good guy uh if you would record a little video saying happy 100th 100th birthday video for marie grover she would be so surprised and laugh so much she used to have a sweatshirt of you and she adores you would be so fun um wow so you know when somebody takes the time it took him what like five minutes to record that and and you'd post it or where wherever he posted it it's incredibly sweet and stories like this you know we often talk about celebrities doing really dumb things but sometimes they are not that sometimes they do really sweet things as well and this is one of those examples it makes me happy it watching her face just you could tell she was delighted and the end when she calls him you rock you i don't know that just that made me happy it definitely made me miss my own grandma i um she would not have understood the rock wishing her <laughs> birthday and she she didn't own a computer and she wouldn't have uh, i don't think she would have known what to make of smartphones but um, i'm sure there were other things that we could have done that would have made her react in such a way just not a a, a, meth- a message a message from the rock let's talk about other happy news this is um an act going viral just because of a simple act of kindness. This is about um, a bus driver in Copper Cop. Co- co- why can't I talk? Copperas Cove, Texas. C O P P E R A S. Copper. Purus. I don't know. He is um, a bus driver, but the kids who ride with Jerry Martin every day consider him a surrogate parent. He takes care of the of the children like they are his, Linda Heckler Gibson told Today Parents, uh, and there is a picture from the in the Capuras. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. I used to live in Texas, and I've never heard of this place. It's a big state. Uh, there is a um, a picture, a Facebook post from Capuras Cove, Texas uh, ISD. Excuse me. Uh, it says, picture of the week, CCISD bus driver Jerry Martin cut the grass at one of his bus stops so the students don't have to stand in the weeds while waiting for the bus. The home is vacant and the yard is not being maintained. Three years for Mr. Martin, hashtag Cove Culture. What a sweet man. He has been on the job for 18 years and he's now getting some recognition. CCISD shared a photo, as I said, and then it went viral the comment section is overflowing with praise for martin many have shared stories about martin's small acts of kindness that left a lasting impression 
Uh, Mr. Martin is a genuinely great person. He drove my son's bus in kindergarten, and Gage thought he hung the moon, wrote one person. Added another, he's such a great guy and definitely made a positive impact on my life at such a young age. Though Martin is enjoying Facebook fame, he says he was just doing his job. The weeds in the yard were about knee-high to me, so, you know, it was taller for children. Once the children get on my bus, I consider them my children. No one wants their kids to be covered in cockleburs. Um... Martin served in the U.S. Army for 20 years. He helps uh, with schoolwork, practicing math problems and spelling words each morning. He said other drivers ask for his route when he's on vacation because his students are so well-mannered. I tell the kids that if they're good, I will reward them when I get back, Martin revealed. Of course, they are always so good, so I give them each a piece of fruit when they are getting off the bus. Oh, I think I love him. Um, <laughs> Autumn Lewis appreciates everything Martin does for her six-year-old daughter, Aaliyah. He was due to retire last year, but didn't, she said. I'm sure the love he has for kids is the reason. This is so sweet. And just one more example of how you never know the things that you do that will make a difference and an impact someone's lives. It sounds like he's just a genuinely caring, wonderful man. And, you know, is he doing anything huge and, and crazy and amazing? No, but... He cares about the kids. He cares to notice that the grass was overgrown and he didn't want them standing in it and, you know, getting covered in cockleburs. He gives them fruit as a reward. I mean, how sweet is that? <sighs> happy stories. We need happy stories in the world. We're going to take our first break of the podcast and when we come back, some more uh, news going viral and some more trends. So stay tuned. You're listening to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast and I will be right back. you want to be healthier, yet you just don't know what to do. All these shows telling you this and that, but nothing seems to work. Well, listen close. Golden State Media Concepts has got something great for you. The health and wellness podcast dedicated to workout trends, healthy eating habits, diet, and everything about healthy living. Join us in our banters as we help you not just live life to the fullest, but live it to the healthiest. Welcome back to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. Before the break, we were talking about a couple of stories that went viral for very happy reasons, which always makes me happy as well. Our next story is also uh, a story that went viral, but not, not necessarily for, you know, like happy reasons. This is more silly reasons. Uh, this time of year, we talk a lot about candy because Halloween is coming up. And... Um, there is a viral map that shows America's favorite movie candy by state, uh, but apparently it's very, very wrong. <laughs> so um, let's see. The, I like to look at the states that I am from. Montana, they have Bunch of Crunch. Okay. California, they have Dots. My husband does really like Dots, and he lives in California, although he's from Ohio, and they have that as um, candy corn, maybe? That's terrible. No, I clearly cannot read. Oh, sorry. No, that was not. Uh, that was not near a uh, Great Lake. That is not okay. So six lits maybe. Uh, yeah, I lived in Texas. Black licorice. Blech, hate black licorice. And um, yeah, okay. So let's find out why this. How was there any sort of research on this, or did they just make a map? <laughs> yeah. So. Junior Mints, Sour Patch Kids, and M&Ms are all candies that many people frequently enjoy at movie theaters across the country. Baked beans are decidedly not. Not anymore. I think they used to be more popular. On Monday, the Lights Camera Barstool podcast, which describes itself as a movie podcast for the common man and frequently covers new films and pop culture, posted a graphic with a map of all 50 U.S. states, each filled in with a different candy or, in some cases, a bizarre food item. The map, show, the map claims to show off America's favorite movie theater candy by state, utilizing data from Walmart, Target, and social media. Um, so is that, why Walmart and Target? Is it because they sell the movie theater boxes of candy? I don't know. 
Uh, the tweet from Lights Camera Pod says, as we head into October, here's a great breakdown of every state's favorite movie candy. What does your state like? And then there is the map uh, that I was referencing earlier. While the map fully discloses that these highly dubious results are quote-unquote unofficial, people are not happy with the candy. many of the candies shown. The tweet has garnered more than 3,000 retweets and 14,000 likes since it was first posted, and it was posted on September 30th, so in just a few days. But we have a sneaking suspicion, according to this article, that the whole thing may be a big joke. Probably. I mean, they're getting clicks, they're getting likes, they're getting comments, right? Among the usual suspects like Bunch of Crunch, Montana, (laughs) and Reese's Pieces are some very odd picks. Licorice? Well, maybe. I don't know. Dum Dums? Actually, you know what? My parents at my parents' movie theater, they don't sell the Dum Dums, but they sell the, um, oh, what are they? they? They're kind of the powdery, chalky, what are those called? Uh, I can't remember, but they they're very popular. Um, circus peanuts? Yeah, no. Who buys? Who? What? What movie theater sells circus peanuts? Apparently, people in Wisconsin have never been to any movie theater ever. Kraft cheese slices are listed as that state's favorite movie candy. <laughs> it has to be a joke. Um, that is hilarious. Um, oh, MVP uh, hashtag. MVP Matt at Josh Graham replying to at lights camera pod says makes sense and highlight and focused in on the part of the map showing Florida and their favorite candy apparently is dum dums. Mm, yeah, okay. So lights camera barstool team was not immediately available for comment. <laughs> And uh, despite the suspicious or the suspect results, social media is having a field day with this map, of course. Uh, One Reddit poster confirmed Milk Duds is definitely tops in Indiana. Source, M from Indiana. (laughs) But overall, many people just had a lot of issues with the types of candy being named. Mike at Talkin' Nothing Tootsie Rolls. Is this 1948? (laughs) Um... Helen Noble at Boob Punch Tina <laughs> said circus peanuts. Nobody eats circus peanuts. Movie theaters don't even sell them. Somebody made this up. It's not real. Do they? Why do they still make circus peanuts? Somebody has to be buying them because if they're still making them, I, I don't know. Even Dallas Fort Worth International Airport chimed in to say they were above licorice in Texas. Uh, they tweeted, as seen by other comments with baked beans, cheese slices, and bunch of crunch, this map is less than accurate, to say the least. We are above licorice. And yes, this is a sentient airport speaking on behalf of the entire state of Texas. Also, please pass the M&Ms and Reese's. I've said it before, but I, uh, I very much appreciate people who are in charge of official Twitter accounts at places like this that, you know, can kind of make light of, of certain things that just makes me laugh there are some very creative people in the world uh the podcast guys shot back saying the airport's skylink moves too slow they said you're really putting bunch of crunch in quotes like it isn't a real thing a candy sold in almost every theater in the country all right dfw airport and then in parentheses the skylink moves too slow by the way um, when someone, some argued about Wisconsinites supposed love of cheese, even in a darkened theater, the podcast team responded, responded, numbers don't lie. Uh, <laughs> what numbers? Um, Walmart even, in, even chimed in. Uh, it says North Dakota. Are we talking Boston beans or canned baked beans? Not judging either way. Mm, yeah, I see now I'm just picturing somebody in a theater with a pack of cheese slices and a can of baked beans. <laughs> I I think I need sleep because that is way funnier than it actually is. Um, yeah, okay, so let's move on <laughs> because I could laugh at this. I, I don't know if Bunch of Crunch is Montana's favorite candy. Who knows? It could be, but I really don't think so. My parents don't sell it in their theater nothing against it but what what are, the, what are the most popular things that they sell in their theater they sell a lot of mm, we go through phases they go through phases i say we as though i'm there but they go through phases of things like reese's peanut butter cups of course are very popular um different kinds of m&ms mentos are pretty popular they go through a lot of those 
things that are less popular um, that take longer. I, oh, they go through a lot of Skittles. Uh, people buy a lot of Skittles. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know about Bunch of Crunch, but, you know, this very, very clearly, clearly scientific. Um, <laughs> it's very clear. It's clearly very scientific and very accurate. But uh, you should check it out. See what your state shows as its supposed favorite movie theater candy. And then you could tell me in comments on social media what you actually eat when you go to the movie. What do I eat when I go to the movie? I like well popcorn, of course. Um, but when I'm eating chocolate, it's usually either a Reese's or a Snickers. Uh huh. But usually popcorn when I go. Popcorn and a drink, and that's. But I haven't been to a movie in so long. I can't even remember the last movie I went to. That's terrible. Okay, we're gonna take our second break of the podcast, and when we come back, we'll be wrapping up this episode with, I promise, some more uplifting stories. Nothing depressing this time. Uh, we'll save that for next week. Stay tuned. You're listening to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast, and I'll be right back. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Welcome back to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. We are moving on now to talk about a story involving Chip and Joanna Gaines. If you have never heard of them, uh, you probably don't spend a lot of time on social media or in line at the supermarket or watching HGTV. They are kind of everything, er everywhere, or Target. They they even have a line uh, at Target. They had a show on HGTV, um called Fixer Upper and kind of a not kind of it was a home renovation show that was on for several seasons now they've moved to a different network they're having a new show but they have I mean they they, I, they have sort of an empire <laughs> in Waco Texas they've got Magnolia which is oh I don't know it's a, they've got a store they've got an ice cream shop or a bakery or I don't know they've got a ton of stuff but um they they have a lot going on. Oh, here, look. They have uh, a market, a restaurant, home goods, books, magazine, upcoming coffee shop, and an entire TV network. Not to mention they are raising five kids. But that doesn't mean the Magnolia Duo can't make time for one more project. And what is that project? Well, they revealed on the Today Show this morning that uh, they are planning to take their ne- their renovation skills to the next level by fixing up a home away from home that their fans will be able to stay in one day. They already did a and b on one episode, I thought, but they are apparently going into the hotel business. Um, they're quoted as saying, home is a feeling created by and for the people you love and share your life with. It's a state of being known and loved just as you are, they explained in a press, press relief, release. This is our dream for this hotel, that it would serve as an extension of the way we feel about our own home and all it represents to us, and that every guest who comes to stay would experience that same sense of belonging and community. I just want to know if every room is going to be decorated in shiplap, because it needs to be if it's a, it's a Joanna Gaines project. The couple will make their dream come true by confer- converting a 50000 53,000 square foot former county office building located just blocks from their Magnolia Market in downtown Waco, Texas into a three-story lodging that will feature a grand ballroom, a full restaurant, a rooftop terrace, and a cafe. 
And of course, it will also feature the style that fans of the HGV, HGTV stars have come to express expect. Or as the press release put it, the hotel's design will evoke Joanna's affinity for timeless classic details while also preserving the building's rich history and highlighting its distinctive architectural features. But where's the word shiplap in that statement, huh? Where's the shiplap? Um, Magnolia will team up with the private real estate company Adventurous Journeys Capital Partners to make their as yet unnamed hotel a reality. There's just one thing fans should know before planning their very own Waco vacation around the venue. It's not slated to open until 2021. Fans can find out more about the project on their website. And if you follow either Chip or Joanna on social media, I'm sure they will be posting lots of updates. And I'm thinking at this rate, you know, even if it doesn't open until 2021, I'm wondering how booked they're going to be before they even open because they have a huge huge following and people really really seem to like them as a couple as uh tv hosts as uh business people etc so there you go if you are a fan of chip and joanna i don't think you're going to get to meet them (laughs) if you go to the hotel but i know a lot of people still like to go to all of their different businesses in waco and just kind of experience the things that they see on the television show our final uh, story, speaking of television shows, uh, this one is an older television show. You may have heard of it. It's called The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And Will Smith apparently is launching a clothing line inspired by that show. <laughs> um, ooh, 90s. Okay, so fans of The French, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air can now wear their love for the show on their sleeves, you know, literally. Will Smith took to Instagram to announce Bel Air Athletics, a new line of sportswear inspired by the classic sitcom that made him a household name. So there is a picture uh, or a video of Will Smith on Instagram. He is holding open a coat that has the lining of, if you if you watch the show, you know he uh, wore his school uniform lining out with very crazy red jacket so that's what the lining in here is and then he's wearing a yellow t-shirt that says bel air athletics he writes i put my thang down (laughs) flipped it and reverse it Uh, i know i just said thang in a very very nerdy way um but then i put it on sale new fresh print at fresh prince merch um willsmith.com Clothes in the limited edition collection are designed to resemble the athletic uniforms at Bel Air Academy, the elite private school the fictional Will and his cousin Carlton attended in the show, which aired from 1990 to 1996 on NBC. In the video, Smith models several pieces from the collection himself, and eagle-eyed fans will quickly spot one familiar throwback look. This is regular. It's just a sweatsuit. It's just a sweatsuit until it's not just a sweatsuit, says Smith says while modeling a navy tracksuit jacket. And then he flips the jacket open and reveals the liner with the same paisley pattern that adorned the inside of his character's school uniform blazer. The Fresh Prince famously wore his school blazer inside out, and now fans can do the same. Now, you know, they say he wore it inside out, but when you look at the, when you actually look at that, this is not a jacket that's turned inside out. The the lapels would not look like that if it was turned inside out. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm being too literal, but come on, they could have at least made it look a little more realistic. Yeah, it was the 90s. Anyway, see what I'm saying? Smith asks as he reverses the track jacket and shows it off with Paisley on the Paisley's on the outside. The collection, which is available on Smith's online shop, also includes t-shirts, shorts, socks, and a gym bag kit, all with a custom insignia boasting the letters FP. Prices range from $6 for an air freshener to $200 for the gym bag kit. Uh, The aforementioned jacket is $95. Naturally, every piece is perfect for chilling out and maxing and relaxing, not to mention doing the Carlton. I didn't write that. (laughs) I'm just reading to you, so... Um, this is a very limited run though so keep in mind the Bel Air Athletics collection is available only through October 14th so you have only 11 more days if you want to get your Fresh Prince athletic wear Um, it, it could make for a fun Halloween costume I'm thinking at any rate fun stories today yes heartwarming stories viral stories good stories 
no downers, no venting from your podcast host. I can't guarantee next time I won't be venting. You know me, I like to get up there and blah, blah, blah on my soapbox. At any rate, thank you so much for joining me for the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. Join me again next week. In the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Hope you do something I don't know, fun, productive, whatever it is you want to do on your weekend. And then join me again on Monday when we find out what was trending over that weekend. Thanks. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast, part of the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to find all the shows from the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network from movies to music from sports to entertainment and even weird news you can also follow us on twitter and on facebook thank you and we hope you have enjoyed today's program